Many of you may know me as a bit of a hardened functionalist, and you may be asking yourselves, well, why is he talking about studio cycling? Well, actually, I think these are quite a good tool for certain aspects of training and rehabilitation. Um, I'm going to show you some techniques today on a spin bike. Now, the spin bike has a uh, fixed gearing, and it's driven by a weighted flywheel, so there's no, there's no free wheel. Um, they're also very solid, you can get really on top of them, you can squat all over them, they're multi-adjustable so you can help them fit your client exactly. So a really useful tool. It's very difficult to do the techniques that I'm going to show you on a commercial gymnasium bike, a commercial training bike. Uh, go for one of these spin bikes, they're good. Now I'm going to let you use your clinical judgement as to when you would use a spin bike in a rehab or a training programme. Uh, from my perspective, there are certain conditions such as patellofemoral joint problems where sometimes cycle work seems to really break through, seems to really help groove out a new pattern of movement, whereas other times it seems to irritate it. So you have to use that judgment. Same with ACLs, it may get to week eight or so and you're thinking you want to do some, begin to look at some strength and some strength endurance work and that's a good time to introduce the bike. But it could be when you get to week 16, 20, above, actually the cycling side of things are not so relevant. So just use your clinical judgment. Now, first thing to do is just spin up. You're kind of trying to find out what is your client's natural cadence, their natural rhythm, the revolutions per minute that they are comfortable with. And this does vary. I mean, I've got no resistance on here now. And I'm just spinning up. It's part of my warm-up. But as a therapist, I've got my eyes on the cadence meter there. Right now, I'm chugging away at 85, 85 revolutions per minute. And that's kind of my natural cadence. And that's what you're trying to find out. What is the client's natural cadence? Are they a fast resting cyclist? Or are they a slow resting cyclist? Because we may manipulate that with our exercises. I'm going to pop a little bit of resistance on here now. Medium resistance, I would say. I'm now just going to show you a couple of things. First thing, there's no reason why we can't manipulate the body angle. And this is a kind of natural cycling position, quite a high cycling position. Some people call it first. You can then adopt to go down to second, a little bit lower. You can then go to third even lower, and I'm pushing back onto my seat now, and then finally into fourth, which is almost like an aero position. And in this position, you can see how I've taken my pelvis into more flexion, so now that the movement pattern is much more backside dominant, and that can be quite useful in rehab. I go back up to first, and just adjust my position on the saddle. So I still have a bit of resistance on, because I'm going to get out of the saddle now, kind of like a climbing position. Um, you do need to have some resistance on, otherwise you'll just spin too quickly. You need something to push against. So I can come up into my climbing position, and I'm just going to show you some variations. First off, here's quite an active one. A lot of my body, rock and roll. Shoulders rocking, pelvis rolling. That's a really active climbing technique hold of my body putting into it. If I want to make it more lower chain dominant, leg dominant, I just try and damp out my upper body. I'm trying to stabilise my pelvis, my spine, and just pump through the legs. That's hard. You can really feel it in the legs. Back to a rolling, more body dominant technique. Then we also have some hover techniques. We can hover at the back, off the saddle, or hover at the front, off the bars. And what we mean by that is this. Go into, say, around about the second position, lift from the saddle. I'm only just an inch from the saddle. I'm hovering just above the saddle. Quad dominant. Really quad dominant. They're burning. Holding on here, hovering off the saddle, Great technique, quad dominant. Now, a bit more complicated, or a little bit more difficult, 
a hover from the front. Go up, into your climb. Now take the weight off your handlebars. Taking the weight off the handlebars. Hovering there. Leg dominant again. Try to put no weight on the handlebars. Holding that. And then back down again. So four variations on simple climbing technique. Okay, let's do a little climbing drill now. Still a, you know, a fairly medium resistance, but not really churning through here. And we're just going to do some up, downs. Great, easy technique. And we're going to do a pyramid. So start with four seconds up, four seconds down, then five seconds up, five seconds down, all the way to ten seconds, back down to four. Looks a bit like this. Here we go. Up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, five, down, two, three, four, five. I think you've got the idea. Try another technique. This time, we're going to work on the resistance. I'm going to take most of the resistance off. I'm back into my natural spin, my natural cadence, which we found out was around about 85 for me. Now, with this exercise, every 10 seconds, I'm going to add one increment of resistance. And the idea is, I must not fall beneath 85 per minute cadence. So I add it on. 10 seconds. I add it on. 10 seconds. Still above it. Add it on. 10 seconds. And you keep going, you keep going, until you can't go anymore. That's hard. Finally, I just want to put another couple of ideas. We can also look at posture, spinal posture, whilst pedaling. I use a stick. Pop the stick down the spine, keep a real upright posture. And again, this tends to make the exercise more leg dominant. They're quite useful early stage rehab. And then another stronger technique, I'll just stop the bike. I'm going to crank on quite a lot more resistance now, purposefully. That's about me just now. That's quite a lot. Hard to get it going. I'm just going to go gently because this. Is much more strength endurance. So I'm going to still use this stick across my back this time, holding a good posture. I've got a strong resistance on here. I'm going to keep the cadence down, maybe only 30 per minute, but I'm going to churn this out. It's quite comfortable. I'm getting a good, lower limb dominant strength endurance phase workout here. Good. So, listen, I am no Tour de France cyclist, I'm no spin instructor, I am a functional trainer, I'm a therapist, I'm just giving you some ideas, please don't criticise my form, etc. This is just stuff that I know that I've worked with my clients and it works. Give it a try.